Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mall for Monday the 22nd of November. With Robert Murray McShane, today we read 1 Chronicles chapter 17, which begins as follows. After David was settled in his palace, he said to Nathan the prophet, Here I am, living in a palace of cedar, while the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord is under a tent. Nathan replied to David, Whatever you have in mind, do it, for God is with you. That night the word of God came to Nathan, saying, Go and tell my servant David, this is what the Lord says, You are not the one to build me a house to dwell in. And he continues and says to David that he's not going to build a, a temple, one of his descendants will, and instead God's going to build a house, an eternal house for David. And two things struck me, the, the, the one, a, a warning. How was Nathan, a prophet, used by God, a, a spokesperson for God, saying something which wasn't actually right? And we need to always be careful who we listen to, because even the best preachers, the best leaders, the, the, the people that have an anointing of prophecy, might speak out of turn. And so we have to always come back to God's word, rely on what God says to us in the scriptures. That is the foundation. And if anybody says anything out of a line with that, we need to ignore them. But the second point is also a point of encouragement because it's it, it could quite easily end up being debilitating. Oh, I'm not sure if I should do this because is it in within God's word? Should I build this or not? Um, I've asked so-and-so and they thought this and... Uh, but I'm not sure. And I, you, we wait and wait and nothing gets done. What we see here is David had an idea, which was a good idea. Nathan thought it was a good idea. He said, go ahead and do it. And then God stopped them and said, no, that's actually not part of my plan. We need to get on and do things. We need to consult God's word. We need to uh, sound it out with, with people, other Christians around about us, and then get on and do. Because God doesn't judge David or Nathan. If you read it, there's no condemnation of David. Oh, this is out of line. This isn't my plan. He shouldn't be doing this. Bad Nath, bad David. There's no con comment to Nathan. You're a prophet. You should have listened more closely to me. You're out of line. God just says, no, that actually isn't my plan. There was no judgment. So we get on and we do things. And we trust that if it isn't right, like in the story, God will step in. God will intervene and stop what is outside of his will. So we wait on his word. We act on his word. And we trust in his love. Be encouraged to live life fully, walking with God day by day. Be blessed.